The Venice Film Festival adores its stars, and Angelina Jolie was the queen of the night on Thursday. The actress was moved to tears during an eight-minute standing ovation at the Sala Grande Theatre for the world premiere of Maria, Pablo Lorraine's biographical drama about the legendary Greek opera singer Maria Callas. The overwhelming love and emotion echoed the unforgettable ovation for Brendan Fraser in The Whale, which marked his career comeback in 2022. Jolie, visibly touched, wiped away tears and occasionally turned her face away from the cheering crowd, overwhelmed by the heartfelt response. She embraced Lorraine and the film's cast, signaling a strong Oscar contender and putting Jolie back in the Best Actress race for the first time in 15 years. The excitement for Jolie began a full 24 hours before the screening. Dedicated fans camped out overnight in 90-degree heat for a chance to see their idol. When Jolie arrived, she graciously signed autographs, took selfies, and even knelt beside a fan with brittle bone disease who had been transported to the carpet on a bed, amidst the flashing lights of the paparazzi. Maria reunites Lorraine with writer Stephen Knight, following their previous collaboration on Spencer. The film tells the tumultuous, beautiful, and tragic story of Maria Callas, reimagined during her final days in 1970s Paris. This is the third film in Lorraine's trilogy about iconic women, following Spencer and Jackie. At times, Maria feels like a bookend to Judy, the 2019 biopic that won Renée Zellweger an Oscar for her portrayal of Judy Garland. At a press conference, Jolie shared her nerves about singing opera for the first time, revealing she spent nearly seven months training. When you work with Pablo, you can't do anything by half, she said. He demands, in the most wonderful way, that you really do the work and you really learn and train.